up, Beach Bitch with a Franchise Guy? Coming at you again with another episode of Rangers Franchise. We're 1930 and 6. Coming into this game, we're currently going into. Got a bit of a trade going on. We got trying to get Colin White. Colin White this season. 12 goals, 25 assists. He's 23 years old. He's on a six-year 4-8 contract. So that's very team friendly. So by the time he's done, he's gonna be 29. And by then we can think of moving forward with him or trading him by then. We're also be taking on Gene uh, Christophe Buden. We figure out how to say his name correctly, I promise. Sorry if you you guys not watch my video. But they're interested in Jumbo Joe. He's second life where he's got 38 points in 55 games. He's got a plus minus of negative 24. Alexander Steen, who is pretty much just sitting in our A currently. 2002 first draft pick and two draft picks right there. Trade rejected. Oh, what'd that say? Oh boy, I botched that. What did that say? I already told you this deal isn't gonna fly as is. You aren't offering Ottawa what's looking for. Try again something another day, maybe. They didn't like that. I wanted to see what they said again. Uh, let's throw in throw in uh, let's throw in our third. Take out our fourth. Question wasn't even what that uh, Ottawa is totally unwilling to ask for. So you're gonna say no to this deal. We would take Joe Thornton if you decide to try again. Alright. I do want Colin White. I've seen I've seen that they are interested in Colin White. I forget what it's for. So I'm going to go and, there we go, go, add asset, find trade. Jumbo Joe in a second it was, that's what they wanted. Next trade, at two seconds, wow. 2020 second, or Jumbo Joe in a second. Can I, can I edit this in a way? Like, can I get a little more out of it then? Jumbo Joe in a second. All right. I kind of want that rookie. I want, I want that center. That's what I want. Uh, rookie skaters. Um, Branstrom. I'm going to get go for Eric Branstrom, possibly. Uh, he's got a ton of trade value, though. Logan Brown, a ton of trade value. This is our guy right here. Maybe if we do... We can give us like a... He's a third for next year. Yeah, I didn't think I did that right. Give us a third for next year. Trade rejected. Our value too far off. Hold up. What if I since it's a one year deal, I don't mind doing it. If I do that, does that help you? You see that you are trying to change the salaries and blah blah blah. But I was still not willing to accept this deal. I'm going to eat some of his salary. Can you eat some of his salary? Right here. And all the right things are blocked. Alright, come on. We're so close to figuring this out. If we give you a... 5th and a 6th. We're going to give you a 7th. Projected. You've done all the right things and you were blocked. The value of settings isn't sufficient. Alright, should I do I need do I need to remove the retained salary? Can I bump it down to like to two seven five? What about Ottawa? What about one fifty? About one. <sighs> Dude, 
Oh, that seems really that valuable to you guys. Is that what the problem was? That I wanted to, that I wanted the other guy to. Is that really what the problem was? All right, come on. Look, I'll take keep two hundred of it. All right. Trade accepted. And I tried to finesse it right there, but we got Colin White. So Colin White is definitely going to be a big part of our future. Going to go to roster moves, so we're going to do all this off camera. Come back, play the next game, and just give me like two seconds, like three, two. And here we are, guys. We're finding the game. It's game number 49 plus 6 is what? 49. 56. So the game are 56 on the season right now. Lundquist 14, 19, and 1. Oof. Bad season for the vet right there. Not what you want to see, but it's all right. Colin White is now our first line. Look at that. We actually won a face-off with Colin White. Our first face-off with our newly acquired center, and we end up winning. All right, Daniel. Oh, no. Is he not going to fight him? Roughing, roughing. At the risk of throwing too many people in the box, we just throw one from each side. Huh. Themselves to try and get this game back on track. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. But, uh, Adam, like uh, Colin White, I mean, he's, he's the, he's the young core that this team needs. He's 22 years old. I mean, does he have the same production that, Jumbo Joe has this season? No, but Jumbo Joe's 40. And, you know, he's either going to retire or he's going to play somewhere else next season. But if, you know, Ottawa wants a second round pick for Colin White, I'm going to I'm gonna give it to him because there's no reason why I wouldn't take Colin White over Jumbo Joe. Colin White has more upside. Colin White has the ability to grow. Oh boy. There you go, Mestikov. Come on. Come on, Eric. That's Mark. We have Mark, they have Eric. But Colin White. For that first game since being traded, welcome to New York number 36 right there. I mean, we have, we have a young core coming up super fast. You know, we have Ty Ronning. We have, you know, Capo Caco. Artemi Panarin. We have Adam Fox. There we go. Lemieux, Brandon Lemieux's on this team. Oh, yeah, that Capo Caco gets the rebound and puts it back in. The New York Rangers have a lead. Look at them. His 15th of the season. Way to go, Mr. Capo Caco. Have a, have a game, my man. Look at that. Boom, rebound. Boom, gets it again. Look at that backhand. There's a reason we took him number two. That's why. I mean, like, what, what was that? I mean, we're not going to make the playoffs. Like, sorry, there's no way we're making the playoffs this year. We're probably going to make playoffs for, I want to be straight with y'all. Oh, boy, Colin Hill, don't, don't get off sides. We're probably not going to be competing for the playoffs for, until at least season number three. So that's what, 2022? I'd say we're competing for the playoffs, so... Yeah, so it's 1920 this season, 2020 playoffs. So yeah, like 2021-2022 season. That season, we're gonna be competing for the playoffs. I think 
we need to draft big this current draft upcoming. Grab like a Quentin Byfield, a Cole Perfetti. A, you know, best comes to best, we're going to grab a uh, Alexis Lafreniere. Like, he is the must go to guy. Like, if it's going to be one of those things that if we need to trade two, three first round draft picks for the number one overall draft pick, we're going to. We're gonna get it because Alexis Lafreniere is a game changer. Oh, that was that is a bit of a flop right there, my guy. He like dove into that you know, board right there. There's no way that that's a legit thing. Four on four though, so not a big, not too big of a deal. I think Panarin's gonna push up a bit. Oh come on, you can't, you can't get past Dumba. Alright, oh boy. Alright. Panarin, push it up. Push it up, Panarin. There we go. Look at that. I'm not sure who hit that one. Number 71, you're somebody I don't currently know. You're Evan Rodriguez, seventh goal of the season. We have a 2 nothing lead right now. Way to go, New York. Oh my lord. I'm gonna say that, and then we're gonna blow it in like the third quarter in the final like three minutes. I mean, I, th I thought maybe instead of playing like the best teams in the league, I should start playing teams that are more or less in my range, so like the bottom tier guys. And I think I'm pretty sure the Wild are the one of the few teams that actually have a worse record than the Rangers currently. Oh, and a mess the call. What are we doing? I can't believe we're still in the first. We're still in the first period right now. Oh boy, we're getting there. It's fine. We're up two nothing. It's all all that matters. Thirty four seconds left of the uh, four on four. And then we got gonna have like twenty some odd seconds of power play for them. Yeah. Knew it. That's unfortunate. Oh, there we go. Brandon Lemieux pushing it up. Oh, how can you not get that over to Capo Caco? Oh, oh boy, Lundquist. Oh, he cannot beat the goalie. For what? What was the penalty for? Oh, okay. Alright, Fox. Oh, Fox is supposed to pick it up. Lundquist. Remember when I said like third seconds when I was gonna blow it in like the third period? No, I meant I'm as gonna blow it like three minutes later in the first period. That's god awful. Oh come on. How do how do we how do we take that puck? But then as soon as we poke it out, he instantly has it back. What's the point? Yeah, like, what's the point of that? Like, you know what I mean? That's nowhere close to where I was passing it, but... Panarin. 
there and pushing it up. How do I... Come on, Adam. That's embarrassing. Rodriguez. Oh, Pominville, why are you in there? Do I know why? Absolutely not, because you're Pominville for whatever reason. You're Pominvilling it. On Lundquist. Like, what is the point of having, you know, you as a goalie if you can't goalie? That's fine. That makes sense, I guess. I guess if my guy's ahead of you, I guess you can. Parise, for some reason, as god awful as he is, can keep up with Patrick Marlowe and steal the puck. Nope, Lundqvist won't pass it out. One of the things I absolutely hate is freezing the puck, especially when my goalie freezes the puck, but I don't want to freeze it. But guess what? He's freezing the puck. Oh, come on, Radish. God forbid I go for the puck. No, what was that? Alright, Colin, like it's that turns up the turns up the rank. Fox with it. Alright, Fox, come on. Oh, what is... Really, that's, that's legal, though. It's legal to lead with your shoulder. Nice puck control there, Lundquist. Nice puck control there, bud. Dude, Lundquist. Are you even playing the same game right now? Where are you looking?
Dude, come on, Capo Caco. How do you not bury that? Oh, boy. I can't even, I literally can't even, like, shoot the puck. Why well, are my friends, they froze the puck this, uh, this period. Because I'm pretty sure I put the time down to, uh, periods are five minutes long, and this period's definitely gone for at least, like, it's definitely gone for at least ten minutes right now. I'm on offense. How do I get tripping penalty on offense? I'm literally on offense getting a tripping penalty. I literally can't even, like... <sighs> I literally can't even push up the, like, push up the rank. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Adam Fox. You're joking. I got all puck on that one. Oh, so it wasn't even something I did. It's was something the computer did. <sighs> Gonna be a long game. It really is. Way to start your Monday morning off with some uh, Rangers franchise mode right here. I hope you guys like the episode. It's like, at this point, it's probably like, what, 11.15 in the morning? You guys probably saw the time. Like, oh, look. Colin White. Ottawa sends Colin White to New York. Or something along those lines. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to title the episode yet. I'm surprised, you know, they didn't score quicker. Oh, what was it? I guess it's well, all power plays, whatever. Oh, come on, Marlowe. Marlowe's got it across the line. Nope. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Slides that one right across the blue line. With the momentum driving towards the net and makes the save. That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck. The forest of bodies in front of him. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Blocked in traffic. All right, number 71, Rodriguez pushing it up. Oh. No, jeez, like how hard is it to make a pass in this game? Pretty good, Lundquist. Alright, Marla pushing it up. Oh, of course, yeah, now you can you can line my guy up. Oh, but look at that. Zucker. Zucker likes to uh, finesse his way around people, and I can't pass out Lundquist for whatever reason. Zucker has to be standing still. Marlowe 
again, pushing it up. Come on, just pass it out. It's like our fourth frozen puck in the past two minutes. Like, there's no need to be freezing the puck, guys. Like, I promise you. There we go. Our Tony Panarin comes up clutch right here. He gets a goal of his own. Our leading point score has, like, what, 40-something odd points in 50-something odd games. It's 21st goal of the season. I mean... <sighs> Could be worse, I guess. Lars Hemi. Oh no, Dubnik, of course. Alright, Lemieux with it. I mean, I don't want to say why I can't hit stall from behind, but they can hit me from behind. Lemieux again, pushing it up. Solitary. Wow. Way to go, uh, Stall. Dude, Lundquist, how are you that bad? How is Lundquist actually that bad? Like, it's not physically possible for someone to be that bad. Like, there's no point in me pulling my goalie. Like, my backups would be just as bad. Like, Lundquist can't even stop simple shots. There we go, look at that. Colin White scores a goal in his first game as a Ranger. Oh boy. So let's see, his 13th of the season. I can't be our shotgun can't set because we got hit by uh we got hit again by Koivu. Koivu is forty years old and he's laying hits and he's playing look at that. Explain to me what forty year old is gonna get rocked like that and then get right back up and into play. Panarin who's in his prime can't make a pass. Dude, Artemi Panarin, it... can someone explain to me why Artemi Panarin can't make a pass from the left side of the ice to the right side of the ice without hitting someone? Like, he can't lead passes for whatever reason, they're, they're all intercepted. Like, there's no reason why every pass that goes from left to right, or right to left, really, look at that, intercepted, again. I have a hunt gets it. Pushes it across to Codini. Here's a short pass to Suter. Takes a shot, gets in front of it. Takes oh my lord. Minnesota's score. No chance for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Minnesota's been dominant tonight. 
Yep, look at that. Four to ten now. Way to go, Henrik Lundqvist. I hope you're hope you're proud of yourself. Yes, because what you need to do is call an icing. Pass actually. Oh. And we got a two on one. And here comes the pushback. So when they do that to me, it's fine. Slowly working his way to the bench. Somebody's got to get the door open for him. He's going to need some help. When they do it to me, it's fine. When my guy gets railed. A bad hit. What? That's a clean hit. The game. That's only my third game misconduct in whatever episode this is of whatever the first whatever uh, the Capo Kaku episode was where he made his NHL debut. Between this one, this is my third game misconduct in that many games. That's fine though. Oh, don't have anyone there. Of course. Look at that, and I can't, I can't even hit them. Like, it's physically impossible for me to line them up for a check. Look at that. He pokes my, he pokes the puck from behind. There we go. Oh, this already is the second goal of the game right there. Makes it somewhat competitive. Was it 5 10 currently? Yeah, 5 10. Back to back games where it's, the score has been reached. Hmm. Come on, Miko Koivu. Come here. Oh, come on, Marlo. Land a punch, dude. I have yet to win a fight in this game. Be a pro, franchise mode, doesn't matter. I've yet to win a fight. Yeah, that hit was definitely not square. Alright, Panarin. Look at that, Panarin can't even bury a puck by himself. Hunt gets checked and then instantly gets right back up. Capo Kako can't play the puck correctly. Can't step on the Quaid. Come on, Capo Taco. I 
want I want to know what the interview when I hit someone is what when they hit me is. I do the same thing, and it's fine. They don't get charging. I don't think I've ever had the computer get charging against me. I physically can't click on the players fast enough to get over. Oh boy, 12 seconds left. There we go, sum it up please. Game's tiresome. And this game just frustrates me a lot now. Alright, Colin White. Come on, there we go, Colin. Like, push it up. There we go. There we go, Colin. White. it's their second goal of the game. I mean, you're definitely worth the second. Worth the second round draft pick right there. I mean, they're, they're, they're literally running out. Oh, wow, everyone. Jay Greenway, Jay Greenway, Jay Zucker. Oh, okay. They're literally running out of ways to score on me. That. Like, I physically can't spin around. Look at that. Come on. There we go. There you go, Artemi Panarin. Colin White, Artemi Panarin. Both with, uh, both with two goals on the game. Nope, can't can't hit Dumba for whatever reason. I literally can't hit B. Fox. Push that up to Kako. Oh, he can't get a pass across. Mesnikov. Running. Oh, 
Middle. There we go, Brandon Lemieux. Way to go. 13th of the season. Lundquist, way to be decent at your job. Way not entirely suck. Right, Lemieux. Oh, he can't get a pass off. You're joking, right? How how can you not stop that? Happened? Did he get poke checked? What are we freezing the puck for? You're up by four goals. Is there a reason why Fuyo Miko Koivu is outmaneuvering like 25 year old players? Freezing, no one's around you. Uh, once the second one goes in, whether you're a scorer or not, you start thinking about, hey, maybe I could get a hat trick. He's never had one. Minnesota's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time up big time like this goal. Through in the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Dumps it in. New York's got the puck along the boards. All right, domestic off. Oh, come on, how did he not get that shot off? Really? Alright, Brendan Lemieux. Oh, he can't get a pass off to Pominville. But Terry airmails it. I mean, hey, I mean, at least he's having fun. At least he tried. Apparently my controller died. <sighs> Why 
why is my TV bored? I have nope. Oh. It is dying. Before I have to plug in the charger. Plug it into the Wow, I can't I can't get a pass off. The Raiders have a home game to defend since dawn. All right, Colin White. That's not charging though. Okay, that's totally legal for him to do. There we go. That's a hattie for Colin White and his. Rangers debut, the unsigned penalty calls have killed us. I've gotten my third ejection of this game so far in like four games. Whatever month we're in, I think we're in the fourth month. So yeah, four games we've had four ejections. Uh, we had two last game, Jack Hughes versus Capo Caco. Capo Caco got ejected. Yeah, I rewatched it. I'm like, oh, I wonder where Capo Caco went because I hadn't seen him. He actually not only got ejected, he also got hurt. But Colin White, though, welcome to New York. I mean, you're gonna be the, you're gonna be here for a long time, bud. Oh, why are we free? Thank God. I'm pretty sure this. I'm pretty sure this episode went on for like at least forty. I don't sure how long it's gone because I'm still in the recording screen but I'm pretty sure when I go to x it's gonna be like a 45 minute episode but Zach Parise four goals and an assist Colin White three goals and two assists and Zucker five assists Jesus Christ if you guys liked this episode I'm sorry if you guys tolerated this episode because I know no one liked watching a 19 to 13 shootout I mean that I lost I have yet to win a game in franchise mode uh, but nice to see you too. Peace out, rock on, and stay super classy, I guess.